Hey everybody, what is going on? My name is Raven, and welcome back to my channel. Now today we're going to be talking about something that I've actually rather enjoyed. It's a show on Netflix called I Am a Killer. For those of you that do not know what this is, this is about death row inmates convicted of capital murder, given first-hand accounts of their crimes into a documented series. Now, it's all about their side of things, and then there's some witnesses, as well as family members, things like that. Now, it is also said that some of them are liars, which I'm sh very sure that some of them are. But it's very interesting to watch because you don't know what's in their head, you know? Now, while we may not want to know what all of them are thinking when they did the crimes or anything like that, some of them are claiming abuse. Some have claimed that they have been inappropriately touched by a parents or, you know, adopted parents, things like that. Like a video that I want to do probably in the next few weeks or so about a criminal um, who committed murder. He's on I'm a Killer show. He talks about how he murdered his adoptive grandparents because his adoptive father molested him. And it just got too far and he just wanted out. He saw red, and that was it. Some of them claim that they've done it because they were in gangs. Now, I don't approve of gang violence or anything like that. But I am finding it very interesting. And I also see that there is a kind of a spinoff of that called I Am A Killer Released. Now, I'm very interested in watching that one as well. I'm going to finish watching I Am A Killer first. Now, I am on season two of I Am A Killer. I'm probably about halfway through. Well, I'm a little more than halfway through. I've got a couple episodes left. So some of the inspiration from watching the show have kind of helped me make some videos. There's also videos made of Inside of Death Row. And they have a man named Trevor McDonald who is like the host of it. He actually talks to the criminals, the murderers, the convicts, whatever you want to call them. And he actually gets their insight on things. Now some people on, now this is a different show now. Some of them have actually said, I deserve to die. I deserve the death penalty because the death penalty is a very, very hard topic to think about. You know, that we're condemning someone to die. So I'm actually very curious to see what your guys' thoughts on that. And I know some people are against it because it's against their religion. And I totally understand there's nothing against re your religion and following your religion and following your beliefs, things like that, as long as they don't hurt someone else. However, my thought is on this. Now, I'm not condoning, you know, murder at all. However, I had the thought that someone could purposely murder somebody, you know, without having it be like self-defense, things like that, you're probably not in a good place, you know, and we don't want you to kind of spread that to other people because once someone murders, there's always going to be copycats out there and people that want to do what they did because they see the fame that they get. Now that's kind of what I Am A Killer does. The show gives all these murderers, people that have murdered people for one reason or another, it gives them fame. Now, I am not approving of murder. I'm not approving of any sort of crime at all. I'm not condoning any of that. I just am finding this TV show to be quite interesting. Now, you also do get to deal with the prosecutors and on some of them as well. And some of the prosecutors also say that, you know, if this man or woman truly changed, they'd be acting differently in their interviews, which I agree. You know, if you really felt bad about murdering somebody, don't you think that you would, oh, I don't know, say, I'm sorry, I totally regret what I did, I feel guilty about it, I know I deserve to rot in here, I know I deserve whatever the case may be, and, you know, I apologize to the friends and family of my victim or victims, and try to go on from there. However, that is not always the case. Now, the one woman I talked about before, you guys have probably seen my video about her. Her victim's parents, or mom and stepdad, 
actually talk to her every day. They have forgiven her and they have, you know, kind of, they give her love, which I think that's too far. If someone murdered my child, I would let hate consume me because you took my child away from me in the most gruesome way possible. Now, that has not happened. My baby is fine sleeping right now as I'm making this video because I'm making it way after he's in bed because then I can make the videos in peace. Anyway, back to the show. I Am A Killer is a very different look on these convicts, okay? So if you would like to check it out, it is completely all on Netflix. So if you have the Netflix account, go ahead and watch it. I have watched the whole first season before, and the second season just came out. Um, I actually don't know when it came out. It's pretty new. It doesn't say on the Netflix homepage. So, oh, it came out in 2008. No, 2018 was the first season. I honestly don't know when the second season came out. All I know is I just started watching it not too long ago, so it's fairly new. This is the thing. Netflix made this show because they know people love watching about crime. Crime is something that we will all always want to watch, read about, etc. I mean, we don't want to see it firsthand, of course. No one ever wants to see a crime like this firsthand. But we love watching the after effect from it. You know, like the Slenderman stabbing case I did a video about. You guys are loving that video. It's got the most watches of all my videos. So obviously, we like watching or hearing about certain things. Now, that is probably why Netflix did this show and they continued it because they know people want to hear about it. And the, 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 the cases themselves are quite interesting. Some of these convicts actually did this when they were, you know, young teenagers and they've been in, on death row for a long time. Now, I don't know what your guys' thought on death row. I'm not going to say anything pro or against anything. That is not my place. All I know is that the more people that are sitting in prison, the more we are paying for. Whether it is in America or anywhere else across the globe. We as innocent citizens are paying for that. Now those people that actually are on death row are there for a reason. It is said that without a shadow of a doubt that they are cold-blooded killers, okay? I am not their judge. I am not their jury. I am not their prosecution. I am not their defense. I am not their victim. I am not them. I am just saying my two cents. That is it. So if you guys like that kind of show, you like watching about convicts and murderers and People doing things because they want money. They do it because they didn't like their husbands. They did it because their boyfriend asked them to do it. They did it because, you know, they were in a gang. Whatever the situation is, if you like to watch this stuff, watch it. There is no crime against watching this type of show. I watch it. I don't do anything bad. So that is my video for today. It's a little bit long, but... I just want to explain that, you know, this is a good show. It is informative. Now, some of the people's family members say that they are lying. Some of their friends or ex-gang, you know, co-gang members, things like that. So it's interesting how they say certain things and that they are lying or, you know, they want help getting out, which obviously some of them want out, if not all of them. Now, in a show I was watching that was talking about the guy Trevor, the one guy on death row actually said, I deserve to die. I deserve my fate. The fact that he said that blew my mind. That some of these guys that know they did something terrible know that they need to pay one way or another. And they are accepting the sentence that they got. They will be openly accepting death, basically. So let me know what you guys think down in the comment section down below. If you like this video one way or another, hit the like button. And also, please do, please do hit the subscribe button so you can be part of this little criminal fan, video game loving family I've got going here. Alright guys, I'll see you on the next video.